Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shelby, aka Miss Botanica, and I have a lot going on. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I have a very, very big variegated Hoya Carii, and I'm going to be chopping it up. And I also have a plant haul. So without further ado, roll the intro. This guy is massive and he's super heavy and one of these tendrils has already broke. It's massive and it's, it just weighs so much. Ooh, I got sap on me. Oh my God, there's another peduncle coming right here. Oh, you're not gonna make it, my guy. I'll try maybe. But you see this long tendril? It broke right here, all the way over here. Yeah, no, that's fully, that's a goner. Anyway. So before I start chopping this plant up, which is going to be so messy, if you guys don't know Hoyas bleed, they have this white sap that leaves the stem after you make a cut. So there's going to be a lot of that. I should probably take a bunch of shreds. I'm gonna shred up this paper towel so that I'm ready to catch as much of this mess as possible. But I'm going to Use scissors, sharp scissors, because this is like thick stem. And then I have rubbing alcohol that I'm going to clean my scissors with. So, but this plant, we were not expecting to get. Michael almost got one when we visited another plant shop, but he didn't. And then we saw this in a local purge and it was an instant, we must get this type of deal. So here we are. We have a nice, lovely Hoya Carii. Perfect for Valentine's Day too, which is coming up. Okay. I've got my rubbing alcohol. I got my paper towels. I'm clean these scissors. There's a lot of new growth on here that I'm pretty sure is just gonna end up falling off, breaking off or something. But as long as I have part of the node, we should be Gucci. So, I'm just gonna go. Oh, I said I was gonna cover these. I said leaks everywhere. Oh my God, give me a piece of paper towel. It's already leaking everywhere. Okay, here's the super long tendril. That was just cut. It's leaking here too. Michael, can you take this? We can attempt to grow this, but this is essentially all node with no, um, what's gonna call it? With no leaves. So usually Hoya do not grow when they're like that. You know what? Do you mind leaking everywhere? This is going to be so messy. I should probably be wearing gloves too, but I'm not. Okay, I need like paper towels to put these on because they're just gonna keep leaking everywhere. Okay, I'll put that there. I'm gonna try to keep a decent, portion of the plant stable but it's gonna be kind of hard so we have this I'm going to you know chop chop and chop oh is this leaf flimsy that leaf might not make it that node might not make it but anyway you cut in the inner node space don't forget that folks don't forget that sorry it's just so thick I can't cut it in front of you guys but I'm just gonna lay start laying these out nicer so that I don't get everywhere i did not curse i said stuff okay where to begin where to begin i think this is another tendril oh good lord oh oh, oh my gosh that's insane look at all these peduncles we have one two three four Oh my word. Michael, where would you like me to cut this? Here? Here? All the way down here? Way down there? Oh my. He, wanna, he wants to make this big plant a small plant and then have a bunch of little plants that we can share and sell. I say share, he says sell. <laughs> I'm not obliged to it. Ugh. Thick, thick boy. Very thick boy. I'm just gonna put that there. Don't start leaking all over the carpet. It's like a little band-aid. 
because it just keeps bleeding. Okay, you're doing great, honey. Also, story time. We went to this greenhouse. Is there another tendril that I can cut right here? No, that's too thick. Definitely too thick. I gotta cut all the way back here. Um, we went to a greenhouse, Wedgwood, to pick up this plant and a couple other plants. And I was recognized, not because of YouTube, because of my presence in the plant community around me. Okay, here is Michael's carry eye. It's so cute. And there's still so much here and so much potential for it to like grow. Oh my goodness. But here's Michael's carry eye. I'm gonna go pass this off to him and I'm gonna continue chopping up this and then I will show you guys my plants. Hello, welcome back. I'm going to continue snipping away. And while I snip, I guess I can talk. But anyway, what I was saying was, I got recognized at a greenhouse for the very first time today, and I thought that was the coolest thing. I was super shocked. They were like, oh my gosh, you must be Shelby. And I'm like, as a matter of fact, I am. And they were like, you're very like present in this community. And I'm like, I try to be, because I love plants a lot. I'm like trying to make sure this does not get all over the carpet. My last strand. This is gonna be very interesting to see how these go or grow or take. It's bleeding everywhere. If you guys wanted to know what a peduncle looks like, there are two very good examples here. It's a growth like this. It looks like a regular, if it were to shoot, be shooting out a new vine, I guess you could say a new tendril, but it's just this little, this itty bitty guy. There's so much potential with this plant. So excited, woo, 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 excited. Okay, now I'm gonna, you know, start cleaning up my mess. Ugh, <laughs> got soap on me. I'm cleaning the scissors again because these are not Michael's scissors or my scissors. These are his family scissors. So we're just gonna clean that off. Real nice. I'm just gonna pot, pot these. I'm not even potting them. I'm putting them in, in water, probably distilled water with, um, what's my call it? Super Thrive in it. And I'm going to be using root hormone to hopefully get some nice roots growing. And then we'll go from there. All right. So these next plants, it's kind of like an unboxing. I know what these are, but you guys don't know what these are. I'm just gonna take this one out. This one's light, so I think I know what this is. Before you see it, yes, there's spider mites. Yes, there's spider mite damage. I'm going to be taking care of that. Ignore that that exists. What is this, guys? What is this? If you guessed Philodendron Splendid, you would be correct. And while I was um, in line, well, yeah, kind of in line, looking to get these, I someone else was there getting plants too and she had noticed on her plants that there was very sticky residue behind it so i just i'm kind of going to show you guys if you guys can see the back of these here this is a good example i don't know how much you can see but the little like orangish clear dots that are on the back those are extra extra floral nectaries and your plant produces them in nature normally, and it's to have ants come to the plant and take care of pests and stuff, but it can also attract other pests, and in this case, it attracts spider mites. So you can see spider mite damage. Here's the front of that leaf. 
all those little circles, those are, those little dots, those are all spider mites damage. Um, but I'm not worried about it. It'll come back. I'm not even worried about it getting to the rest of the collection because they all have it. <laughs> so we're just going to ignore that that even exists. But here is one Philodendron Splendid. She's a gorgeous, she was a wishless plant. She has one baby, two babies, and then three. We have this new leaf coming out right here, another new leaf right here, and a third one right here. So she's pushing along. She was a deal of a deal, if I do have to say so myself. So this next one is my very first of this genus and I'm so excited. If you guys have any care tips, please leave them in the comments. DM me on Instagram, let me know. Here's my shameful plug right now. <laughs> but I just, it was a, again a steal of a deal. She was like, she was 20 bucks. If you know what I mean. And all the other local greenhouses. I had her for so much. Oh, I just touched you. Don't mind, sorry. Um, she was a steal of a deal. Yes, she has spider mite damage. Are we upset that these plants came with pests? No, because pests are normal. You have pests in your house, so... It's inevitable, is what I'm getting at. But, anyway, this is my very first... Get rid of the annoying plastic. It's my very first anthurium. And it looks like her newest leaf was cut off. Or, no, her oldest leaf was cut off. Oh, that's very interesting. If you guys can't see, my thumb is inside the pot. There's a space. I think they have a little tray so that water doesn't, it doesn't sit with a lot of water. But anyway, I was trying to see if she was root bound and whatnot and doesn't look it. But here is, Anthurium clarinervium. She's quite gorgeous. Minus all the cosmetic damage that might be behind her. But I'm super excited to grow my very first Anthurium. Like super excited. Okay, this one, next one is not a surprise, but it's okay. Can you see it already? <laughs> you can see it already, that's okay too. But you know. Michael, I think I made up of my mind which one I'm taking home. I think it's gonna be this one. It's another philodendron splendid. Um, the lady was so kind when Michael said that these plants were for me. Well, the caria is not for me. The carry eyes for Michael because that's his wishless plant, but the Clarinervium and Splendid are mine. And when Michael said that they, he was getting them for me, the lady was so nice, and she gifted us one for free. And I think I'm gonna take this one <laughs> because look at her. Oh my word, she's so pretty. Ah, oh, I can't. I'm just. I'm in awe. Um. What, can I say anything, like, about this? I don't think I can. Like, she's just... Oh my gosh, she's got a growth point right there. Oh. Look at these babies. This one does not have no, nearly as much spider mite damage as the other one. Which I'm kind of glad about, but... Still has spider mites. Um. Oh my god. I can't even, like think right now because this is just stunning here we can root this but it won't grow anything if you guys buy sorry we're gonna take a quick intermission if you guys buy hearts at the store make sure it comes with a node a node if it does not come with a node it will grow roots, but it has a very slim to unlikely chance of growing a plant. Um, it is possible. I will say that it is possible. If there's just enough like cells, I guess you could say from the node, it's enough for the plant 
the leaf, I should say, ooh, the leaf to grow a new plant. Make sure it has a node. I'm not saying dig up the plant. Don't do that. If you can't see any growth, I wouldn't get it personally. But if you want to, you know, give it a try, you can be successful with growing a plant from a leaf. But personally, I don't want to take the chances. So I'm super glad that we got the plant that we did. But look at this. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. We can root this. We'll experiment with it. We're going to experiment with a node an empty leafless node cutting too that I said in the beginning. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it's all over the place because we did a plant haul. I'm talking about pests, talking about extra floral nectaries and spider mites and cutting up a plant. It's a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.